Hey, so it's been a while since I was last on here. It's been maybe two to three years since I last made a video and a lot has happened since then as you can probably imagine but I'm happy to be back and excited to share with you all everything that I've been going through, my thoughts, all the changes that I've endured and what the next chapter of my life looks like or what I want it to look like at least. So I actually filmed this video yesterday and as I was editing I noticed that I left some key parts off so I'm going to be switching back and forth from the video that I filmed yesterday and today periodically just so I don't leave anything important out. I'm wearing the same outfit for continuation purposes but yeah anyway back to the video. So basically about a year ago I left my big girl six figure very secure job without any backup plan. I didn't have any job lined up. I held a really high position at a startup company pretty much at the time. I was there for almost four years. As some of you guys probably know, startup culture is very difficult to be in, you know? You are work 24 seven and it can become a toxic environment and that's exactly what it was. I was, it had gotten to the point where I was kind of miserable and just burnt out. So I just decided it wasn't worth it anymore. Um, obviously it served its purpose, which I'm very grateful for. I will always be grateful for that job because it gave me a lot of blessings. And because I had done it for so long, naturally I had somewhat of a, an attachment to that job and it was hard getting out of it. It was like getting out of a bad relationship, but eventually I mustered up the courage to do so. And it's something that I had been thinking about, so I just decided to one day um, bet on myself and you know, just go for it, do it, and figure out the rest later. Of course, part of me was freaking out inside, like, what am I gonna do? But more than anything, I think I was very excited to do nothing for an extended period of time because like I said I had been overexerted for so long and it's been a while since I didn't have work when I say I didn't have one single day off you were on call 24 7 the expectations for performance were very high and it's just not sustainable I really wanted to get back what I had lost. I told myself I was going to bounce back better than ever, mentally, physically, financially, spiritually, reset and gain my inspiration for life again. Immediately after I left that job, of course, I had this surge of new energy and excitement of all of the possibilities that could happen, you know? Because I can do whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted. Little did I realize that, of course, you know, during the daytime when I'm available, no one else is, you know? People are at work and are busy with whatever they got going on, so I actually wasn't able to do as much as I thought I would. Before I quit, I actually set the intention of, you know, spending more quality time with people that I love and building those relationships, but I wasn't able to do that quite as often. Also, there was this factor of, obviously, I wasn't making as much as I used to. I didn't have that regular income of my six-figure salary coming in and so I definitely had a scarce mindset around money at the time just out of fear that one day I will go bankrupt or something because here in LA you step outside you spend a hundred dollars just not knowing when I was going to have a regular resource again besides my rental income was definitely a factor that was playing in my head. I'm also not the type of person that likes to dip into their savings and so that was certainly uncomfortable because I did have to do that a couple of times. There were some points during this time where my expenses were higher than my cash flow. So the combination of my friends having work and me not wanting to spend money on anything gave me no other option but to just stay at home. I don't know about you but there's not much for me to do at home besides be on my laptop and watch Netflix and eat, which is a recipe for disaster. You know, all of this media that I was consuming, whether it was a Netflix series or scrolling through social media, you know, one second I would see, you know, a cute video with puppies and then the next video I was seeing car accidents. It was just really crazy. I was feeding myself with junk. That's just what it is. I, not just through what I was consuming on media, I was also physically feeding myself junk, like with 
the food that I was eating, I was like overeating. <laughs> I was just sitting in bed and watching Netflix. And it wouldn't be just one movie. It would be the whole entire series in one day. It was just so unhealthy. I gained a lot of weight for sure during this period, but I am currently working on, again, bouncing back better than ever physically. It's just a little delayed, okay? That led me to a short season of depression. There was just a point where I just lost control of my thoughts and forgot who the fuck I was. There were thoughts of what's the point of all of this? Um, and I, I think a lot of it is because of the overstimulation that I was experiencing and really it was the combination of it all like the fact that i was gaining so much weight and i did i wasn't happy with how i was looking and the fact that i was making myself sad and then happy and sad and then happy through all of the things that i was watching and not being active it was a lot of mental battles that i had to overcome and i just had to take those mental battles day by day some days were harder than others some days were a breeze to get through but one day throughout this journey of me improving my mental health my friend who is living the van life shout out victor if you're watching this i love you so much i'm so grateful for you he invited me to meet up with him and tag along with him on his journey through europe and that's exactly what i did and because one of the main intentions that I had for this period of my life was to improve my relationships and uh, spend more quality time with friends, it only made sense. It was in alignment with what I wanted and I feel like being in a new environment would have benefited me tremendously and so I had to figure out how to make it happen and I just, I just said yes. I had no idea how it was going to work but I made sure that it was happening. And going back to the finances thing, I had been playing it safe. Again, I was just staying my ass at home, not spending a dime. I felt like it was time to let go of that because my soul really needed this. Your savings is an emergency fund. Your mental health is an emergency. And so that's kind of how I perceived it and is what helped me um, kind of be a little bit more comfortable with spending such a huge amount on an international trip. I booked a one-way ticket to Europe so that I could explore. I've, this is something that I've always wanted to do and I realized that this was the perfect time to do it. I wasn't doing, I didn't really have a routine in my life. I don't have like a job. I don't have much going on, okay? <laughs> so this was just the perfect time to do it. I ended up going to Croatia, Montenegro, and Albania and it was very transformative. It was some of the best time in my life, honestly. Like. Montenegro is really beautiful. First of all, the Balkans, underrated. Like, people, you know, when you think of a European summer, people think, like, Italy, France, and Spain, whatever. But the Balkans is really where it's at, first of all. Like, the men there, chef's kiss, like, beautiful. Like, the most beautiful men. Actually, both sexes. If you're a man or a woman, uh, go to Albania because everywhere you turn is a beautiful person. Uh, and I'm being genuine. You got to see it for yourself. The architecture, the history, the food, just beautiful. And the waters, the mountains. It's just, I, I can talk about it forever. And I would not get tired of talking about how underrated the Balkans are, okay? Anyway, I got to reflect a lot on where my life is, where I want it to be, and how fortunate I am and how grateful I am to have been in that position and see such beautiful places. I've always loved traveling, but being there and going from country to country and spending all this time, I think the thrill of not having a return ticket was really fun to me it's just something that i've always wanted to do and i i really felt so fulfilled doing that this trip was the trip of my life okay it changed my life and i i know it sounds so cliche but i really do mean it there were so many different realizations perspectives reminders that i gained from these beautiful places so i'm just here to share those little nuggets that i learned having an abundant mindset really does wonders for the blessings that come into your life. Like I said, I wasn't sure how I was going to make this trip happen, it just did. There have been many instances in my life that something like that has happened. I wasn't sure how it was going to work, but it ends up working out anyway. But don't forget that 
the universe is working with you and not not against you i was also reminded that i'm ready to find my man i'm ready to find true love have kids start a life with somebody and i have been ready for that for a while now but i genuinely feel like my man is not in the united states as a lot of us know if you live in la or any major city in the united states the dating scene is just really fucked it's just really hard to find someone whose values align with yours i just like the european style of living american culture is very obsessed with work and that's just not the season i'm in in my life anymore i want someone that wants balance in their life you know someone that can work hard play hard and love traveling and is not only thinking about money all the time in america when you first meet people the first thing you talk about is oh what do you do for work i feel like people are just so much more than what they do for work and we shouldn't be reduced to that unfortunately i feel like americans are just so obsessed with what people do for work how much money they make and all of that and the rest of the world they work to live not live to work like americans do um, and that's not to bash americans <laughs> i love america you know i'm very grateful that uh, my family moved here for better opportunities, etc., etc. But it's just the culture. I'm just saying, okay, don't get, don't get triggered because it's the truth. But most importantly, the biggest realization slash reminder that I gained throughout this whole thing is that life is too short for you to not be you. You know, whether it's just being who you are at this present moment or pursuing your higher self and doing whatever it is that you want to be life is too short to not do that i could literally die tomorrow and not have done most of the things that i want to do in my life because of whatever limitation that i put on myself and that's scary to have lived a life that you didn't even get to do what you wanted to do you had this one chance and you didn't even take it that's embarrassing. So ever since that realization came to me, my focus has been to fully be myself and do whatever it is that I want to do at the moment, you know? I want to be myself completely, say whatever it is that I want to say, do whatever it is that I want to do at any given time. Anyway, all of this is to say that there are so many things that I have yet to do in my life. There are so many things that I want to do. I love expressing my creativity and I want to explore every avenue possible just for shits and gigs like pottery, sewing, all of these things. Um, I genuinely have an interest in so many things, which makes it hard for me sometimes because I can get indecisive of like what I want to do today or whatever because I just want to do so much i just have a whole bucket list of things that i have yet to do so i'm kind of dedicating this youtube channel to do exactly that you know fulfill my bucket list of things that i want to do whenever i want to do it and it's gonna be fun you know youtube is actually something that i've always loved to do but i've never been consistent with it because of fear of judgment not from new people because i i find that P strangers are actually like your biggest supporters it's actually like the people you know in your life that are your biggest low-key haters like they'll support you in your face but you know um talk shit about it or something behind your back and that's what i've always been sort of afraid of i don't know why um because at the end of the day like this is my life and i should do whatever i want and everyone should feel that way and it really is such a shame that we don't all feel free to just live our lives however we want it's really crazy all because of fear of judgment but you know whoever doesn't like it is completely irrelevant because at the end of the day if you don't like it this content is just not for you this content is for people who are going to find the value in it and who are going to see what kind of message that i'm putting out i have no ill intentions i only want to spread a positive word and whoever doesn't appreciate that is just a hater anyway it's only taken me 28 and a half years to find the audacity to be myself but i'm excited to share this new chapter with the world in hopes that i inspire somebody to do the same so <laughs> subscribe if you want to see me do random shit on the internet <laughs>